Well, good afternoon everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a hood strut install on the Tacoma behind me here. See I've got the hood up. What I have is the kit from Redline and you guys can see back here it's actually called Redline Tuning. These are the struts. Comes with the two struts, the two brackets here. This would be for uh, the inside of the bay, if you will. These are for the hood itself. And then rivets. So what you need to do that is the kit, a tape measure, a drill, I believe it's 3 16 some masking tape, and a rivet gun. Now, I've never done uh, rivets before myself, so this is going to be a little bit of an adventure for me. But I'm going to go ahead and set up. I'll show you guys as I go through how to do this. And we're going to solve the heavy hood problem. Okay, let's catch you up with where I'm at right now. I've measured and marked uh, for both sides for the top bracket. And the way you do that, you measure 19 inches up from the top of this hood bracket here. 19 inches up. Mark it across the bottom. That's where the bottom of your, oops, about right there. That's where the bottom of your bracket will go. And then you measure two and a quarter inches in from the side or the lip of the hood on the outside. Let me get the camera up here where you guys can see. Two and a quarter inches in from the, uh, the lip of the hood here over and mark a line. That's where the right edge of your bracket will go. And then you mark the two holes. And we've done that on both sides. You guys can see over there. So now we have to pop off this trim piece on both sides because that's where the bottom part or the nib, if you will, of the bracket is going to go. So we got to pop this off and I think it just slides out. There is a push pin in the back on each side right here that you have to remove, but I believe it just slides out otherwise. We're going to find out. Okay, like I mentioned, right up here in the front, right there, there is this little push pin. And for those of you that don't know, if you just take a screwdriver, put it over the lip of this internal part, pry that up, and it's very simple to do. It will release pressure on this part on the bottom here, and then you can just pull it right out. So we've done that. Now I'm going to show you how to take this part off, because you have to do that on both sides. Let me see if I can set you guys up so you can see here. There you go, a little bit. And the way this works, it just pulls in towards the engine bay if you will. There's little clips like so that go over a knob and that's what holds it in once you have that push button or push pin out at the front. So you just push it this way gently. There are three of them under here. Easiest to start, <clears throat> excuse me, easiest to start in the corner. And again, you just pull towards the center. Easy as I say, right? Like that. And I'll actually get down here to the other end, right down here, instead of tackling the middle yet. And that pen is right here, or actually it's right here, like so. And then the middle one right here just actually popped right out. And then that thing releases and you just set it aside. That's because you need access under here um, to be able to put that next catch for the hood strut bracket and the little nubs I was talking about are right here there's one here one here and one here and that's where that just slides over and then you put your push pin back in and make sure you have the lip of this on the inside it fits on the inside so we're gonna go ahead and measure next for the bottom part of the bracket okay we've got the uh, hole positions marked for the bottom bracket now and I'll show you one uh, problem I had when you're measuring it's 12 and a half inches from this point back here there's this little let's get the camera up there this little nub that sticks out this metal uh, fender bracket and it's actually towards the cab not towards the front of the truck I was looking towards the front I couldn't find it it's up here towards the cab you measure from this bracket the edge 12 and a half inches forward until you get to this edge right here, which I've marked, that's going to be the top edge of the bracket, and then it will go towards the front of the truck and mark your holes. Same thing uh, on the other side. It's symmetrical, so you mark it the same way on both sides. At this point, we're ready to drill. 
Okay, one more thing before we drill, they do recommend that you punch the holes, you know, put a little indentation in the paint so the drill doesn't wonder. I'm going to do that on each one of my holes. And then also, a little tip for you guys, I wrapped some electrical tape uh, just a little ways down, hopefully you can see there, maybe, uh, from the edge of the tape. That's to keep me from uh, punching through and drilling through the top of my hood. Uh, because that would make me very unhappy. So just a quick little tip, wrap some electrical tape or something just a little bit down from the edge of the bit so that the bit stops um, or that you'd really have to get on it if it didn't um, and it doesn't go through the top of your, your hood. So we're going to go ahead punch these holes and drill and we'll be back. Okay, we've got the holes drilled here, here, and then uh, here and here. And one more thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put just a little bit of paint. This is just black Rust-Oleum. Um, and I don't care about the color because it's going to be under the brackets. But I am going to put just a little bit of paint over those holes and inside the holes just to kind of protect it a little bit. Uh, obviously I have exposed metal now. So we're going to put a little bit of paint, just dab a little bit on there uh, to protect it a little bit from rust. Okay, my uh, riveting job was a eh, minor success. It worked. So we have the brackets on both sides. You guys can see the one here. This nub faces out away from the truck. And then down here we have the bottom bracket and this nub faces in towards the engine bay. So the next step is to hook up the struts and give it a try. So here we go. Okay, I think I have you in a good spot. We have the nub up here and the nub down here. The fatter part of the strut goes at the top, so we're going to go ahead and fasten that on. It just pushes onto the nub, in theory. Just like so. So the top part of the nub is on. Now we got to go ahead and twist the bottom part around. There we go. There, we have the bottom part of the nub on, so we're golden there. Make sure everything is secure. Now let's go around and do the driver's side. Okay, the top nub is kind of hidden behind the pole here, or with the pole, it's right here. This time I want to make sure that uh, I get them a little bit lined up before I actually put it on. Just make my line, that's perfect, almost, so I guess we're good. So go ahead and snap the top one on. Pretty simple. And let's snap the bottom one on. Just like so. And that's it. So everything is installed. Uh, I did set it so the red line tuning is showing on the outside, so you can see that. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and shut the hood and give this a test. You guys will get to see that at the same time I do, so let's see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and shut the hood, give it a test, make sure it works. Before I put the side beauty panels, they call, call them, back on. So hopefully we won't need this anymore. You'll notice it's staying up without me doing anything. That's, that's good. So that's a positive sign. Let's go ahead and see if it shuts. There you have it. It would shut. That's another positive sign. Let's go ahead and put it back up. That's awesome. Awesome. So, we're going to go ahead and put the beauty panels back on on each side. Uh, and then I'll show you one more time the finished install and we'll do one more quick little demo on it. And we should be good. I love it. Okay, we've got the beauty panels back on. You can see they do fit behind the uh, new nubs or brackets that I put on. Here's this one and right here is the nub. It is, you do have to finagle it just a little bit, but once you get it down and get it pushed back against the side, there is a little bit of distance here, so it does fit uh, perfectly. Nice and snug, just like you'd want it uh, on both sides. You guys can see over there. And no problems at all getting that back on. Like I said, you just kind of have to take your time a little bit and uh, finagle it, but it's it fits, it's no problem. So, let's go ahead and have uh, one more demonstration. This time we're going to do it one-handed. Let me get rid of my light, or at least move it out of the way. 
it's raining outside or I'd be outside doing this and we'd have some more you know natural light but let's go ahead we'll put it down of course that's the simple part make sure everything fits nice and snugly there it does no problems and let's go ahead and uh, put it back up look at that one hand one hand uh, I don't know about you guys but uh, I don't think you could do that one-handed before maybe if you really got into it maybe used a foot or something uh, you might be able to do it I don't know but uh, this is uh, awesome they should come this way um, the kit itself cost seems to me like it was right around a hundred bucks or so I don't know something like that you guys can check it out um, I'll leave a part number here uh, in the description so you guys can see just exactly what it is that I bought Again, these came from uh, Red Line Tuning. Hopefully you can see there. Uh, and uh, pretty easy install. Just have to take your time, make sure you measure right, um, and use rivets. I wouldn't recommend using screws or anything. I think definitely you should use the rivets that are provided, um, which means you'll need a rivet gun. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hope you like this install. I think it's awesome. As usual, please give this video a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button if you haven't before, and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.